Hello and welcome. We are I'm here today on GTA 5 and I'll be showcasing one of my garages. I have several garages. Uh, my one, this one is just down the road. Um, it's a kind of a classic car inspired garage. Um, I'm just up here quickly in my R32 GTR um, from Betty's, obviously. Um, <clears throat> you know, it, it, in the boot it's all tricked out. Um, and you've got the RB26 engine in the front. So, uh, this is a, one of my houses in Vinewood Hills. It's a 10 car garage. And like I said, it's a classic car inspired garage. So a lot of, you know, legends from the 80s, 90s are in there. And um, some surprising ones too. So, I'm heading in here. So. I'm in here, and um, as you can see, it's a pretty big collection. Uh, I've got, mo they're mostly Italian cars, but we've got a bit of Brits in there too. A uh, quick Corvette. And um, so yeah, let's start going through them. So number one here, we've got a Ferrari Testarossa, or the Grotti Cheetah Classic in this game. Now, I remember I, ha I, I won this car from the podium in the casino, and I kind of sort of tricked it out to look like the one from Miami Vice, but really brilliant car, I love it. Pop-up headlights, it is honestly really lovely. Secondly, over here, we've got the Infernus Classic, or the Lamborghini Diablo. I bought this car mainly because of the scissor doors, I mean, you love to see it. The pop-up headlights, obviously the gated, Manual shifter that isn't in GTA, but you know what I mean. This is a this is a legend from the 90s, and it's a car which I love driving in this game, even though it may be a bit outdated. Thirdly, here we've got the Ocelot Penetrator or the Jaguar XJ220. Just as the name suggests, it the car was meant to go 220 miles an hour. I don't think it ever reached that, but over here I've got it in its got its V12 here. The doors are massive and I've got it in its kind of trademark silver colour and if you count the cylinders there it, there's 12 of them. Um, moving on here we've got the Progen GP1 I believe or the McLaren F1. We've got it in its, I believe it's trademark orange and I, before the recording, I actually just bought this car. And famously, Elon Musk crashed his McLaren F1, and so did Rowan Atkinson. In fact, I think Rowan crashed his F1 twice. So, yeah, luckily, hopefully I don't crash too much with this one. Um, but yeah, a brilliant car. Can't wait to drive it. Over here, we've got the Vapid Retinue Mark II, or I believe it, I think it's a Ford Cosworth? Um, an Escort Cosworth edition. Um, I believe it's one of those. There's many of those. All the Cosa, if you know what I mean. And moving on, we have the Ocelot Ardent or the Lotus Esprit. Uh, now, I, I bought this car because it's got like a mix of modern and futuristic. Like, if you go, if, like, if, look, I've, I'm entering here. And if you look around the interior, it's actually quite minimalist, and I love that panoramic sunroof. It's one of the main reasons I bought the car. And it does have a machine gun on it too, so, you know, why not? Um, now, over here, we've got a Michelle GT. This is another car which I want from the casino. I believe it represents some sort of classic Alfa Romeo, I think, in my opinion. Beautiful car, though. And over here, we've got the BF Weevil. Now... Or the Volkswagen Beetle. Now, before you judge me on the paint job, I won the I, I I won this car after doing these side missions for English Dave and the Ko and the Ko Perico heist. So I kept so I received the car like that, and I want to keep it like that. Here we've got the Tropos Rally, or in real life known as the Lancia Stratos. This is a legendary rally car. I actually got this car um, free. Um, one day uh, it was free for a week or something so um legendary car there um and just over there uh, i accidentally exit my garage um but yeah a, a beautiful car and really famous as well for its 
rally capability. It was a rear-wheel drive car, but it was still awesome at rally. And in the corner there, I forgot to mention it, but it, we've got a Coquette Classic, or a Classic Corvette. I believe it's a C1 or a C2 Corvette, like the second generation or the first generation Corvette. Um, I got that for free, but yeah, it's, it's a horrible blue colour, but I never changed it. Now, we're going to drive, since I've got some time left, we're going to drive down to my agency, to my agency garage. Now, that is a 20 car garage. It's huge. So I only have about six or seven in there, but I'll still show you. So quickly drive down there in the McLaren F1, and obviously since we're in this car, it's a bit, a bit of stats. So fun fact, it actually, ha yes, it has a V12 engine, but it's a 6.1 litre, I believe. Um, but it is a BMW engine. Uh, has 618 horsepower, 650 miles an hour, and at its time, I think it set a world record for 241 miles an hour. It held that record for, I think, like two decades or something, or like a decade, until the Bugatti, the, inf the famous Bugatti Veyron came and smashed it. But still, an awesome even in this game, you, you feel so important just cruising around in this. Um, so we're coming up to my agency here, but since we're going into the garage, I'm, I'm just going to kind of pull around into this kind of apartment complex here. Just leave the car, just casually leave a $1.2 million car uh, sat there in the street like, like it's nothing. Anyway, heading into the agency here. I really love the agency, actually. Um, it is a really good update. Uh, the, the contract in general has got really good music. It's, it's a really good update. And this and I have filled up my agency. Not filled up, but I've put some cars in this agency. Now, this Rolls-Royce Cullinan that you see to my left is not mine. This is part of the agency. It's it's armoured, um, and uh, the, it's called the Enos Jubilee in this game. A really nice car, though. Now, here's my floor where my cars are. So, first of all, we've got the Buffalo STX. We had to get it. It's got the Imani Tech on it armor and the Missile Lock-On Jammer. A brilliant car. Very meaty and powerful. And over here, we have a Gavinter Baller ST. Now, this car is, is barely fitting in this slot. And it was free for a, for a week. And, um, yeah, I'm not sure about the paint job. I might just change it to a simple, like, black or white. Here we've got my Ignis, my lamp, my, my Ignis, my Pegasi Ignis, or the Lamborghini Sian. In real life, this is a hybrid, um, but it is a, it, it, this car is, it, it looks just, it, it's raucous, I, and I love this, the, the doors too. Here we've got the Overflood Zeno. Now this car, uh, I believe it's meant to represent the SSC Tuatara, but in this game, it is really, it, it's horrible. Like it drives atrociously because it, it's really low, so it like flips on anything. Um, but a really nice car, it looks radical. Next up here, we've got the Champion, the Dubachi Champion, or the Aston Martin Vulcan. Again here, I've got, I've got, I've got, a, I've got a British racing green interior, I've got the Imani Tech, the armor, um, machine guns, and all the, the bells and whistles. Here, I've got a Comet S2 Cabrio, or a Porsche 911 Turbo S Cabriolet. So, um, I accidentally, bring it into the custom vehicle wash workshop but i really like this car it's very uh simple kind of white with black um as a secondary color which i really do like and finally over here we've got my obey i wagon or in real life the audi e-tron now this is a family car in real life in this game it costs about one million dollars one like i think 1.3 million dollars in real life, it's sixty thousand. The prices, the interest rates in this game are exorbitant. Anyway, it's an electric car, and it really drives quite well. And it's actually a really fun car to drive. I really enjoy it. So that nearly concludes our test over here. Um, um, now, if you want to see more of my GTA garages, uh, drop a comment and let me know. Um, 
feel free to subscribe if you want to. I'm not going to force you. But uh, thank you for watching this video.